One mistake I've seen a lot of people make when it comes to building their dream home is that they want to build something which is big. They want to invest a lot of money into what they call their dream home. But over the years, we've seen that putting up your dream home comes with a lot of issues, especially if it is your first time building. And so in this video, we are going to look at the mistake that I've seen about 90% of people who are living a good life, working, working hard, especially the people in the diaspora want to build a house for themselves are making. And over the past few months, we've been getting this feedback quite a lot. And I believe that this video is going to help the people who are building and it's also going to help the people who are now going to start their building projects. And we are going to look at it from two perspectives. The first perspective is for those who are building for themselves. And then the second perspective is for people who are building to sell. Let's get into the details. So we got this question or somebody put this comment up on Facebook, right? And the person said, it's very interesting that there's a heading. Right. He says, in 2018, or living abroad and building for caretakers to enjoy the wisdom of the African. I recently argued that many caretakers looking after the properties of those living abroad are the true homeowners. Right. You can pause and then read the question. But what he's saying is that many people who are caretakers are the true homeowners because people leave Ghana. Some people even like spend, I hear about $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 to get a visa, ticket, etc. And leave Ghana to go and reside in the US, UK, Canada, etc. Then they work, right? Let's assume you are living in Ghana at the age of 30. They work for about 20 to 25 years to build a house in Ghana so that when they are retiring, they can come and live in Ghana. Now, that's not a bad thing. However, what we are seeing especially the trend nowadays is that many people spend such a very long time building their houses i went to somebody's house on the thursday which was a holiday in ghana and this build, this person is building a house somewhere close to a shaman estate and has like a five bedroom house huge one and he said he started a building project about 20 years ago now before i even continue i want to stress emphatically that don't build a house for more than two to three years. Don't. And I'm going to give you at least 10 reasons why you shouldn't spend more than three years building your house. Now, I know you have a lot of questions coming up. Oh, what if my salary is this? What if I'm going to answer all of them? But listen to this story first. He built a house, five-bedroom house, and he has been on it for the past 25 years. And whenever he comes to Ghana, he goes to rent a place, like a hotel, live in it. Maybe he comes to Ghana for three weeks, one month, two months. Then he goes back to the States. His children are in the States. His wife is in the States. None of them wants to come back to Ghana to come and live here. And he's saying that he wants to come and retire in Ghana. He doesn't want to come and be renting a place. So since he started this five-bedroom house 25 years ago, he wants to be able to complete it and then move in. That is the first scenario, and I'll be building on all these, so please pay good attention. Whilst you are listening, thank you so much for the support last week when I was not feeling well. Again, comment where you are watching from and let everybody know. Now, the second scenario is a man who left Ghana about 45 years ago, building at East Legon. And again, five-bedroom house. It looks like a people in the diaspora, five-bedroom house is the magic number. Now, this man also has like he left ghana about 45 years ago he went to work really hard got a lot of money came to start a building project which is about 30 years old now when you look at the design of the house it immediately tells you that this is not like a modern house design and that's the first reason why you shouldn't build a house for that long there's a very popular actor in ghana called ejako and this guy set out to build some huge mansion. It took him 16 years to complete. I'm not saying if you are building and it's taking long, it's necessarily a bad thing. However, once your building is taking very, very long, there are certain issues that you are going to face. And so the title of today's video is 
mistakes 90% of first time builders make, right? Especially people who want to number one, build their dream house. I, when, I, when, when I have engagements or consultation sessions with people in the DAS brand, you can send us an email if you want a consultation session, right? Most people in the diaspora, when they, they are telling you about their plan or their dream for their house, they say because in London, in the US, etc., you pay like $1,500 or pounds for a very small one-bedroom. When they want to build in their own house in Ghana, they want a huge house, like the room should be very, very big. Now, this is what goes into quantity surveying, right? When you are putting together a bill of quantities for materials and labor, usually there's a formula that we use, okay? So you, you can use like maybe per square meter. If you don't want to like do a general breakdown, you can do per square meter and say maybe $300 per square meter or $200 per square meter, or even $100 per square meter, depending on your taste in finishing and all those things. And so it just makes sense that the more square meters you have, the more money you are going to spend. And now you guys in the diaspora, you guys in Ghana, who are working hard to build your dream homes, you are also living life. Many of you have families, you have kids, you have dependents, etc. And so you are balancing all these and also trying to put up a building project. And you have a very huge house, which is taking you 10 to 15 years to complete. Now, one of the main things I see people who come and say, oh, they want a five-bedroom house, they want their rooms big, etc. Apart from the fact that where they are living today, the room is very small and they don't want to feel confined in their own homes that they've built their money with, is that they are looking at their children, especially those who have children. So some will tell you, oh, I have five kids or I have three kids, so one room is for myself, one is a study, then each of the kids have their own room. That's fine. That's a beautiful idea. But the reality is that a lot of people who are building with their kids in mind are ending up regretting because the kids are leaving and the kids don't seem to be interested in the buildings that their parents struggled to put up, myself included. My father built a huge five-bedroom house. And you know those days, uh, the land was big. Like, the land was very, 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 very big, right? Not nowadays that you are seeing this kind of 100 by 70. Those days, this 100 by 72 plot you are seeing could be one person's full land. And so it was easy to build like huge mansions. And our parents also didn't build like, most of them didn't build story buildings. So build a huge house which would cover like 60% of this 100 by 100 plot. And the rooms are big, the halls are big. Today, none of my father's children is living in his huge five bedroom house. Right, and I keep hearing these stories too many times nowadays, and it's worrying to be honest, it's very worrying because one, I said I'll tell you about from somebody who is building to live in's perspective and from somebody who is building to sell. I have interviewed people who are selling houses, and I've put some on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. The ones which have gone fastest are two bedrooms and three bedrooms the ones that the people are struggling to sell are the ones that they built the houses like they were building for kings and queens huge five bedrooms six bedrooms seven bedrooms somebody even has a nine bedroom house who is going to buy a nine bedroom house right so you may be building it because you have seven kids and you want all of them to have their independence and all of them to have their privacy and all that However, you don't want to, however, you don't want to, sorry, just a minute, please. However, you don't want to build a nine bedroom house that you cannot sell. So you need to consider all these things when you are building. And now let's look at the next point that I put up. Prices of building materials increase year on year, whether you are building in Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, any country. Prices of building materials tend to increase greatly year on year. For example, like when I started my building project 
a bag of cement was about 30 CDs. Then after some time, I went to 33 CDs, 50 pesos for like two years. Today, a bag of cement is about 94 Ghana CDs. And it could even get to 100 by the end of the year. And so you that you are building for 20 to 25 years, you are going to see that trend, that fluctuation, that increase, that inflation in prices of cement and other building materials over your lifetime. And so the next point that I've put there is that because the price of building materials increase year on year, anybody who is building past three to five years is making total nonsense of the bill of quantities that is provided for them when they are starting their building project. Because typically you go to a quantity surveyor, they would look at your design, your architectural drawings, your structural drawings, and then they'll give you a bill of quantities, which breaks down the design into material and labor costs. Now, when they do this, sometimes they even add like a buffer, right? They add contingency amounts and all these things. However, when your building project is more than three to five years, then it means that you're making complete nonsense of the bill of quantities because in 10 years, trust me, cement is not going to be 94 cities in Ghana. Even if they quoted the amount in dollars, it's still not going to be the same, right? So it just generally is not a good practice to want to build a house for that long. Let's look at the next point. The next point is that it is super difficult to sell any house which is above five bedrooms or five bedrooms and above. And I have a lot of data to you know back this claim. Like I said, I've interviewed some people on the channel, etc. And then I also have people who are coming to me on a daily basis looking for properties to purchase. People from the diaspora, people in Ghana who are taking mortgage and things like that. And when they come, usually they say, do you have any properties for sale? Then I ask, like, how many bedrooms, etc. are you looking out for? Usually it's two or three bedrooms. What is your budget? Between $60,000 and about hundred to one fifty thousand dollars. Meanwhile, the five bedroom houses, most of them are selling in like Ghana and Accra, two thirty thousand dollars, two fifty thousand dollars. I even went to see one last week Saturday, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know, so it becomes super difficult to sell. And always remember that when you are building, once your money goes into the building project, it never comes back, never ever. Right, so you have spent, let's say, $60,000 on the building project. Your $60,000 is locked because one, you cannot move into the property to live in it. And then two, you don't even have the money to do any investment or to do any business with it, right? So ideally, if I was starting a building project today and I had like maybe $50,000 to $70,000, I'll probably want to do a two or three bedroom house that I can complete in a year. For me, I would always recommend that try and not like try to not exceed two years when you're putting up a building project. I know a lot of you are groaning and complaining that this guy doesn't know what's happening. Trust me, if the amount of money you can put together in two years, including your investments, your savings, and your regular income for the building project will take you more than two years, will take like five to 10 years. That probably means that the house you want to build, the size of the house does not meet your financial status today. Why don't you put up a two bedroom house, live in it, as God continues to bless you and you have more money, you can put up another two bedroom house that your kids can be in it. And then when they leave, you can rent it or sell it, right? So building with kids, 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 and building because I have a large family is not ideal. Let me use myself as an example again. When I was putting up my building project, right, it was a five-bedroom house. And my wife mentioned something like, I was putting the staircase outside the house. And she said, ah, but if I'm downstairs and I want to go upstairs, at night, right? It's scary and all that. So she wanted us to enclose the staircase so that it becomes one complete unit. 
And I was thinking about it, and I felt it's a good idea. However, that means that it just becomes one house. Many at times, yeah, most people, when they are building their houses, especially if it's a story building, they put the master bedroom upstairs. They put all the nice things upstairs, and they put the base items downstairs. Then life happens. Sometimes your knees get weak. Sometimes you need to be in a wheelchair. Most people, even in Ghana, when they are building, they don't make provision for wheelchair and disability, you know, um, accessibility and all these things. So you've built a master, you know, suite or whatever upstairs. You can't climb. You don't have an elevator. And so one advice that my dad gave me was that when you are building a house, even if you are building your master bedroom upstairs, try and put up an equally good master bedroom downstairs for the time when you are old and cannot climb upstairs. Or even for the time when you don't want to go upstairs, but you have a good room downstairs to do everything. I don't know if it's making sense, but hey, I want to hear from you. What has your experience been? What have you encountered? What have you heard? Share in the comments below. Also, whether you are watching the live or the replay, comment where you are watching from. How many rooms are you building? Don't feel shy if you are building a five-bedroom or a ten-bedroom house. Nobody is going to judge you. I'm not saying it's a bad choice. You have your reasons. Let us know the reason why you decided to build this number of rooms. Let us know. Maybe we can all learn a thing or two. And if you are just joining, we had this comment on Facebook where somebody was saying that Ghanaians like to build and then go and live in the diaspora and then a caretaker is living there so you are building for 25 years and then a caretaker is living there rent free for 25 years in your beautiful five bedroom house whilst you are living in a small one bedroom apartment in london uk or canada and paying about thousand five hundred to two thousand dollars and he says to him it doesn't make a lot of sense and i see the wisdom in what he's saying he says we choose to live the best years of our lives, right, which is our youthful ages, between maybe 20 to 50 years, whatever. We live like rats. That's what he said in his post. We, we sacrifice everything. Like, we don't even enjoy the comfort of life. We don't even enjoy the fruit of our labor. We don't enjoy the hard work. The time that we can actually enjoy our lives, we don't. Then we'll be slaving away trying to build some huge mansion in Africa, that somebody is living in rent free. Then when we are old and weak and tired, then we now say we want to come and live in this house. What kind of enjoyment is that? Right? So some of the things he said is he said, Would you buy like five um five bowls of food, right? And then eat just two and throw the three away. His analogy was that. Many people who are building the 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12 bedroom houses are not able to maintain them. They are also not able to occupy all when the kids go. So essentially, you're occupying maybe one or two, and then the three are a waste because nobody else can come and live in there with you as well, especially for people who enjoy their privacy. I'm going to pause here and read some of your comments on YouTube, and then we'll come back to my own points for this particular video. Okay, so it says error YouTube is not um kindly confirm if you can still hear me. Please Comment if you can hear me because I'm seeing an error. Okay, the error is gone. Great. Idris Wildchild says, Peace, brother. Peace, Idris. Just Mew says, Watching from the Netherlands. How is it in the Netherlands? Healthy TV says, Hi, blessings to you. I receive all your blessings. Um, he says, Watching from CT. Where is CT? Is it cantonment? Is it where? Comment and let me know. West of Wisdom Channel says, Very interesting points. Jeff Jefferson Okran says, Do you need planning permission to do? a borehole so do you need like a building permit to do a borehole hmm there's an interesting one i'm not sure but if anybody has information please comment and let me know um 
Kix 851 says, should a damp proof membrane also be used for security wall? Yes, please. Any wall you are building, use a damp proof membrane. Daniel Kufu says, was it written by Chris Vincent on Facebook? If it's him, please give him credit because he's always talking about this to guardians who live abroad. Yes, it was, it was written by him. And if you watch the, the screenshot that I'm sharing, right, you can see his name there, Chris Vincent Ajapon. Um, Healthy TV says, building a two-bedroom in Western Region because it's just me and my husband. And if our children or family wants to come and visit us, there's a place for them to sleep. Excellent. Jefferson Okran says, can still hear you. Oh, great, 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 great. Healthy TV says, Connecticut. Oh, nice. U.S. people did a house inside. Um, Kicks 851 says, watching from Montreal. Oh, fantastic. Henry Abuchi says, there's no permit needed for a borehole in Ghana. Fantastic. I love it when the community comes and answers some of the questions. All right, so let's continue with the points and then we'll wrap up. But I want, I want you to keep commenting the number of bedrooms you are putting up. Why? Even if you are putting up a 20-bedroom house, why? Let us know in the comments below. Okay, so back to my point, right? So it is difficult to sell a five-bedroom house. We've spoken about that. It's also very difficult to maintain, right? Because you have more windows to clean. You have more doors that issues will come up. You need to do something on it. You have more walls. You have more beams, more columns, everything, roof, electricals. There are so many things that can like go wrong with a building at any point in time. Even after you've put in your very best and you've built it to your best, like the best quality with time it will begin to degrade right and so once it's huge there are many more things that you need to consider tiles right sometimes you need to change the tiles the larger the square area the the more tiles you need to replace even painting the bigger the size of the house the more paint you need to use so it just like what's the word is it cascading or like it translates to every aspect of the house when it comes to the maintenance. The next is that it is difficult to rent unless you come up with good strategies for rent. But if you build a five bedroom house and it is one complete unit and you want to rent out a five bedroom house, many people in Ghana are looking for a chamber, a hall, a one bedroom, two bedroom to rent at most. It's just a few people who have come to me and say they want a three bedroom house to rent. Nobody has come to me and say they want to rent a four bedroom or a five bedroom house. Usually, if it's a four or five bedroom, they want to buy or build, right? So, if you are building a five bedroom house and have it in mind to rent, it's worse that the, the chances of you renting it out is lower than you even selling it. And already selling it, the chances are very low, right? Because it's going to be super expensive. Now, my next point is it takes forever to finish a huge dream house. It takes an eternity, especially if you don't have a regular cash flow. Somebody sent me a question on our Gmail, right? And I want to read this particular question because I asked him for permission to read this question on the live. He gave me the permission and I want us to delve into it so that you see how people are, you know, approaching building in Ghana and some of the things that we need to avoid. So he says, the Africa Building Hub team. Inquiry regarding building project guidance and coaching. Okay. I hope this email finds you all the nice, nice greetings and all that, right? I'm writing to inquire about the possibility of receiving guidance and coaching from your esteemed organization for a building project I'm planning to undertake. Allow me to provide some additional context on my project. I gave the location, but because of privacy, I'm not going to mention it. The property size is 90 by 70 land, right? So which is like close to the typical 100 by 70 land, which is selling in Ghana. He says, objective, construct a two-story building with four self-contained houses, three on the ground floor, one on the top floor, along with a two-bedroom unit for personal use on the first floor. As at now, no alarm bells ringing. It makes sense. Like, it's normal. Purpose. Generate rental income from the self-contained units to support my family's financial needs. Still good. Like, it's a really good initiative. Financial situation. 
although I have contracted a loan of 30,000 CDs payable within a year to pay my rent advance, my salary of 3,500 CDs is no longer available due to this commitment. So let me break it down. He has taken a loan of 30,000 CDs, which is payable within a year to pay his rent advance. And so because of that, he is servicing the loan and his monthly salary is 3,500 CDs. Now, if you are watching in the diaspora, you don't know what the CD is, right? 3,500 CDs is like less than $300 or around $300. No, it's less than $300. And he's saying it is no longer available because he's using his full salary to service the loan. My supportive wife has agreed to cover our household expenses whilst I focus on the building project. Bless your supportive wife. As of now, just alarm bells beginning to ring because if your salary is 3,500, I want to put up a two-story building and you've already gone for a loan of 30,000. It means now you don't have a salary. Let's continue. Here are some additional developments pertinent to the project. One, I am considering procuring construction materials from the block factory operated by the individual who sold as the land. So somebody sold him the land. The person also has a block factory and he wants to get the block, the materials from this person. Would you recommend this approach or I should explore external suppliers for better pricing and quality assurance? Now, my beautiful community, all the questions I ask, I want you to also be answering. I'll read your answers because I've told him I'm going to do this live. When I finish, he, I'll send him the link to watch and I want him to see your responses. So we are taking the first question again. I'm considering procuring construction materials from the block factory operated by the individual who sold us the land. Would you recommend this approach or should I explore external suppliers for better pricing and quality assurance? Now, if you've been following our channel for a while, you know that one thing we say is compare, compare, compare. Always make sure to compare because when you compare, you have options. When you have options, you have bargaining and negotiating power. However, when it's just a sole sourcing kind of contract or procurement, then always you can't really negotiate or bargain a lot. And when a person sees you don't have a lot of options, one, either they are going to give you inferior quality materials or two, they are going to charge you higher than you need to pay. And so, my dear viewer, if you are watching this replay, please try and get quotes from as many people as possible to help you make an informed decision. Now my community also comment. Number two, the seller of the land also offers construction services. Would it be advisable to engage him in the construction process or should I consider other options to ensure competitive pricing and quality control? I think over here he has answered himself. So if you are watching this replay, my dear subscriber who sent this question, please consider other options as well to ensure competitive pricing and quality control. Again, you don't want to put too much power into this person who sold you the land. He is providing you the materials and then he's the person building for you as well. Number three, I possess architectural drawings outlining the proposed building design, which is excellent because many Ghanaians don't like, like getting architects when it comes to their building projects, their plan and everything is in their mind. They get a meeting and a four man, then they are building, right? But getting an architect helps you to plan because that and your structural drawings is what's going to feed into the bill of quantities, which ensures that you are guided, like you are building according to a plan, not just pay as you go. Now, number four, the seller of the land has suggested that we commence with a smaller scale project initially do you agree with this approach or should we consider other strategies? So please, when you're answering, can you do like maybe number one or question one or question two so that it's clear once I begin to read the comments. Now, this number four is part of the reason why I'm making this particular video. Definitely, definitely start with a smaller scale project because you now, your salary is low and it's non-existent. And if you want to build this two-story house with 3,500 CDs, 
it is going to take you at least 30 to 50 years to complete it right so start something do a one bedroom and then rent it out then as you are getting another do another bedroom do another but if you start big foundation the foundation alone can take all your salary for the next 10 years right it costs 3500 it means a year that's 35000 for the kind of story building you want to put up you may be getting to about 100000 cities or more for your foundation alone right and so why would you want to take 3 years to do your foundation when you can do a one bedroom with 100,000 CDs and rent it out. You know, so again, I want you guys to be answering. He says, or should we consider other strategies? If you have other strategies too, please comment below. Number five, while the site plan is readily available, the, or the indenture is still pending completion. So the seller that is proposing to build you the house has given you a site plan has not even given you an indenture. My guy, have you even confirmed from Lance Commission that this person has the legitimate right to sell you the house? Please, it's really important because now you don't even want to let your money go into the land and you are using all your money to pursue litigation issues. So make sure you have done your search. It's like he really wants to build. He's passionate. He wants to start something. But I feel that... He is jumping some of the steps in the name of let me start quickly. And maybe I blame myself too because I have been encouraging my viewers to start a building project, right? So we started the ABH challenge where we said everybody needs to start a building project this year and finish something. Now, when we said so, what we said is regardless of the type of building you want to do, you should be able to finish in a year or two. And so if all your investment and salary or income you want to put into it, can build a one-bedroom house. Do a one-bedroom house. Then he says, Furthermore, I am pleased to share that a generous individual has offered to provide an interest-free loan of approximately 100,000 CDs. This loan aims to alleviate financial burdens and enable us to stop paying rent advances within the next three to four years. With, the, with this financial boost, I seek your expert guidance on how best to utilize these funds to realize our goal effectively. Thank you for considering my inquiry. Charlie, this is a wild one. This is a very wild question. And these are some of the things we get in our DMs all the time. So... There are multiple layers of loans. He has a rent advance loan of 30,000 CDs. And his salary is going to service the rent advance. He says another individual has given him an interest-free loan of 100,000 CDs. And he's going to use part of it to pay his rent advance so that he doesn't need to be paying that rent advance all the time. Use some to alleviate the financial burdens which have come up as a result of the rent advance. And <laughs> use the rest to pay his house. I mean, to build his house. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the question of the day. Let me read the comments that you guys have put up. And then we will get ready to wrap up this video. Okay, so there are, wow, plenty of comments. All right. So, Jefferson Okran says, Okran says, what are your thoughts on container houses? I think it's good. I think in Ghana, we have a lot of container shops, but container homes or residential properties are kind of a new concept that is coming up. It is relatively cheaper than the brick and mortar or the block and cement houses. However, you need somebody who is an expert. However, again, it hasn't been tested for multiple generations in Ghana for us to say we can now widely adopt and accept. It's in like its first or second generation. That doesn't mean don't do. I'm just saying, do all your research before you put your money into it. Okay, um, Kix851 says, I'm planning to do three rooms and one office. Wow, there are about... 101 people on the live and we have only 14 likes 
oh guys please when you close the live chat uh, you see a thumbs up button please let's click on it and give ourselves 500 likes for this video that i'm pouring all my heart into i pray this video is a blessing to somebody that's why i'm passionately sharing this okay so um well the comments are coming in quickly okay so kicks i read your message you are planning to do three bedrooms and one office why why do why three bedrooms l e sparkles f k l e sparkles says healthy tv that's how it should be okay so the community is talking with the community i love that kicks kicks says but i was thinking of doing four rooms and one office i have two kids but i also want to have my mother-in-law come for a few months it's common in canada to have three to four rooms that's fine daniel kofu says please what's happening to the cement capacity and strength in ghana why do every house these days need damp proof membrane now oh it's not necessarily cement capacity most of the lands in ghana are clay they retain water there's a lot of water in the land and so you need a damp proof membrane and even other techniques to prevent rising damp like rising damp is one of the most common issues we have in ghana and many people don't do the foundation properly the land that they purchase is waterlogged and those ones are way cheaper right so that's why you are hearing these things so just do it to to save yourself the future cutting of the walls treating it and all that okay um well the comments keep coming i don't want to miss even one comment i'm going to read everyone okay m barry says i'm building a five bedroom house because i want my kids to have their own room and a visitor's room okay so m barry is like the typical person i'm talking about in this video you want your kids to have their own room it's good it's beautiful but what's about when your kids leave you okay um okay so healthy tv and early sparkles are talking among themselves Irabna poku says four bedrooms in elmina planning on renting when not using very expensive to build at roofing stage and it is not easy true and that's even the next point i was going to go to like roofing a five bedroom nine bedroom 12 bedroom house is expensive hey like even roofing a three bedroom house is expensive if you're not doing like a secret or a hidden roof and you're doing these kind of big big hip roofs tell it it is expensive People got quotes of 90,000, 120,000 CDs for their roof. That 120,000 is also building somebody a one bedroom house. I know all fingers are not equal. We cannot all build one bedroom houses. But please, I have seen too many building projects in the past few months. Like from the start of this year to now, I've had a lot of you guys in the diaspora calling me. I should go and take a look at this property that you started 20 years ago, 25 years ago, 30 years ago. And I feel sad. Like, when you look at one person's house, eh? the vibrations on the slab, like the concrete slab, the first floor, was serious. What happened was the person did a ground floor and then did, like, the block work. He did a ground floor, did the floor, the slab, and then did a the block work. Now, you know when you do the block work and it rains and you don't have any proper outlet for the water to come out? the water is able to like stay there and soak and it soaks into your slab your concrete slab that you've done it doesn't mean your house will break or collapse however when you even step on the first floor mine like you feel vibrations it's scary <laughs> and you don't want to put a lot of load on that slab that has soaked up so much rain obviously whether you like it or not, it's going to affect your structural integrity of your house. And again, that's what I'm saying. Try your best not to exceed five years when it comes to building. Even if you have roofed it, things just by being there begin to spoil, right? Maybe you've done some plastering or some painting. You notice cracks, the damp proof thing that somebody was talking about, the, wire, the wires. This person's house went to look at that, a showman. Thieves have been coming to steal the wires because he did the roof, he did wiring. They climb all the way, they come and put a ladder, climb all the way to the first floor because the first floor, not, he has not put any ceiling, right? Because he has run out of mind. The house is big and he's living in the USA. He, he's thinking, should I come back to Ghana or not? But I've invested so much money into this thing. 
then thieves are coming and removing the wires when the caretaker leaves the house right so it's just it's just it's just like it's it's painful it's painful so let me read some of your comments again what's the cost of iron rods 12 nanometers a ton is selling for about six thousand five hundred. now when i spoke with some merchants this week they said it's about increased by 400 to 500 cities per ton across board right so if it's selling for about six thousand four hundred or six thousand five hundred today it means by next week or end of april it's going to be like six thousand nine hundred or seven thousand cities per ton i'm sure you want like the individual prices so let me just switch um, because i have the data here i can have the data here okay so um, you said 12 millimeters, right? So the 12 millimeters is selling at about 49.60 CDs per unit. Okay. All right. Comments are coming plain, and I don't want to miss any of them. Mm. Okay. Jefferson Okran says, I'm building 15 self-contained units, probably for Airbnb in Kwehu. What are your thoughts? Jefferson, it's not just me, my thoughts, sir. Uh, it is the thoughts of the community. So everybody watching, what are your thoughts? What questions can you give to Jefferson? Now that what I like about this community is that it's not just like um, me coming to sit here and talk, right? I'm just creating a platform where we can all dialogue, learn from each other and stuff like that. So please answer Jefferson. What do you think about 15 self-contained units for Airbnb in Kwehu? Because location is really key. I think another live, we need to talk about the location. I did like uh, a, an experiment <laughs> last week. I want to show you. I want to show you the the, the result, right? Um, just a minute. Let me pull it up. I did on my phone. Good. I've seen it. So I was at Accra, like I was at around the Independence Square. Okay, so you can see now. And I looked at Google Maps, right? from the independence square to let me see the destination to kaswa tobut right and the distance is 27 kilometers then from the independence square to the amasama police station is 24 kilometers and then the independence square to east legon hills is also 27 kilometers now guess what all these places are like the same distance from the central business district East Legon Hills now land is selling as high as seventy thousand dollars, eighty thousand dollars per plot. Even some are selling half plots for sixty thousand dollars. Kaswa is selling for five thousand dollars. Amasaman is selling for another five to seven thousand dollars. So location is really key. Unfortunately, I don't know much about Kwehu, right? But I'm saying all this so that people who have maybe properties in Kwe who have lived there can advise Jefferson. Healthy TV says thirty thousand dollars is about three thousand two hundred USD. Okay. Jefferson Okran says yeah, definitely go and compare before you buy so you can negotiate. Okay, so you are answering the question now. And Barry says I would have nothing to do with that man after buying the land. Thank you. Jefferson Okran says how much does it cost to be a boy in Ghana? Currently, it's ranging between fourteen thousand to as high as twenty one thousand. Ghana city so yeah um Daniel Kofu says bro can I use damp proof membrane for my manhole water closet concrete tank mm, interesting question damp proof membrane anything that has like a foundation anything that has block work in it you want to make sure that the the the, the water doesn't rise through capillary action but then the manhole to the thing is surrounded by water. So should he use a damp proof member? That's an interesting question. It's an interesting question. Anybody who has answered it, let me know. Anybody who wants to answer, please let me know. Whilst you are here, if you just stumbled on this live and you are seeing this guy wearing this green top and his white cap talking so passionately about building in Ghana, then this is Africa Building Hub. We are creating a community of people who are looking at building, buying or renting in Ghana, but we believe that whatever lessons we are sharing is applicable anywhere in Africa. So if you like that kind of content, please like and subscribe. We have 35 likes, whilst over 403 people have watched this video. And so please 
can we get at least 400 likes by the people who are watching the live and the replay people okay wow today the comments are coming in fast i like it all right so i'm also trying to answer every question so i don't want to miss any comments wow the comments are coming so quickly goodness okay yeah i've seen that question um Apple michael says i jefferson i think i can give you my thoughts on your airbnb if i know which time query you are looking at Apple, god bless you jefferson jefferson says yeah i've got all the legal paperwork done before you start building otherwise you spoil your money okay salome tete says watching from spain salome thank you like every weekend we see you we appreciate you right hope you are doing good hope spain is chilling um okay so jefferson and michael are talking afri jam o says boho average cost around twenty thousand. be careful as there are lots of porn artists out there they should do tests to see whether there's water the type of soil and what depth to drill fantastic and so if you are just joining us today we are talking about mistakes that most first-time builders make or at least that i've seen first-time builders making by interacting with subscribers by interacting with people on tiktok instagram everybody wants to build their dream house and everybody wants to build big big houses five bedroom houses ten bedroom houses and we are looking at how we can avoid those mistakes and we are using this post that chris vincent a japan put on facebook as reference for this discussion okay healthy tv says guys please let's click the like button and share the video this is a great topic thank you very much healthy tv Kojo Nyako says, what are the ways to fix rise income for an old builder? I think we need a dedicated video on this. And we even have some companies that are bringing some new technologies for fixing it. So I think I'll do a proper video for you, okay? But it's a huge issue. Like, if you do, you search on rising dump on YouTube, like, <laughs> the videos have so many views because it is an issue that people are facing. So I'll make a dedicated video for you guys. I promise you. Henry Kojo Mensah says, ABH, I salute. I'm tuning in from Italy. I must confess. You are doing a good job. I appreciate it. Sir, can you please share the contact number of the guy who did the compound flooring at your private property? Yes, that's Alex. So um, I'll get I'll get his number and then I'll put it in the chat, right? Or just send me an email. Just because of the live, my other phone is somewhere and I don't want to miss that. So I'll, I'll, I'll respond to you, Henry. And I, I love seeing your your comments on my videos like you are one of the most active um subscribers i've seen i, I appreciate you about michael says jefferson airbnb is not a bad idea but the little i know about who is that it's not busy unless they are phone house <laughs> or easter interesting really interesting okay um jefferson okran says what are your thoughts on um, rooftop gardens rooftop gardens unfortunately i don't know much about rooftop gardens i can only say what i know so i'll leave this question for the people who are watching the live or the replay to answer okay if you know much about rooftop gardens please let us know we have 44 likes can we get 100 likes by the people who are watching the live and then the re people who watch the replay can we get at least 500 likes on this video okay um wow well, comments are a lot today goodness i'll read everybody's comments today i'm willing to spend an hour plus to read everybody's comment and ensure that you guys are getting value from the video okay um afri jam says you can't do much about dam proof after it, it, it has been built you must concentrate on dam proof course at the foundation stage which not a lot of people do, I agree. Perfect Mouse says, he should go ahead and get it from the land seller. It's a good deal. And that he can take it on loan. Interesting. Bellocello says, what about cement? You mean the price of cement? Um, I think that's a good segue to talk about our sponsor for our live videos and our channel, Super Sam Cement. Super Sam is the sponsor 
of these live sessions that we are doing. And so today, a bag of 32.5 R grade is selling about 83, and then the 42.5 R grade is selling about 94 Ghana seats for the various brands. However, for us at Africa Building Hub, we are sponsored by Super Sam Cement. They have one of the best factories that I've seen in Ghana. And their 42.5 offers one of the highest compressive strengths of all local 42.5 R grade cement. And so call the number that you see on your screen for your bulk orders. Thanks, Bipri. Now let's go back to our main content. Apal Michael says, if you haven't secured your land already, I advise you look at in price. So at the TFI or a TBA, a TBA. This is because for a TBA and in price, so you can use it as a hostel for the nursing students. Great. I like these kind of you know tips myself. I'm going to take a screenshot of it and do research because I don't just advise you guys, so I also look for land and good deals to buy. So thank you very much, Apa. I really appreciate it. John Messagan says, Do you recommend me going for a one story for my first building? I have a quarter plot and want to utilize the space. So I should I should a single level three bedroom on it. You know, if you can do a story building because it makes the best use of your land and quarter plot is very narrow right so if you do a story building you can do a lot with it okay i think i'm coming to the end of the comment yay Apa michael again says Jeff, however if you have the land already then you can try your the nurses to your facility <laughs> you only need to commute by taxi on a daily basis hope this helps kill ideas kidas is that what how it's pronounced kidas i'm building an eight bedroom house at east legon close to the alc shopping mall I started this project about seven years ago when I was just 26 and was planning to live there when I get married. However, wow, you're building a house at East Legon. Amazing. Well done. I'm turning it into an Airbnb. Please let me know what you think of. Oh, East Legon, your Airbnb will do really well, right? It's hot kick. I'm, I'm happy for you. Afri Jam says, East Legon Hills, one plot now is $80,000. I, I don't know why you've opened your eyes. I went on Mikasa.com and I was looking for land at East Legon Hills and the prices I was seeing, hey, 4 million cities, 5 million cities, 3 million cities. The cheapest I saw was like, the cheapest I saw was like 1 point something million. Then half plot was like 875,000. That's crazy. Um, Bukhari says, how much is land selling at Photobi in Sawan? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know everywhere, right? So I cannot tell how much land that in Sawan is selling for. So if anybody who is watching this or the replay knows, kindly comment and let me know how much land at in Sawan is selling for. Um, Justice says, good evening, sir. But what are we also thinking about? Vanity to vanity on this earth. <laughs> Uh, you're saying there's vanity to be building big houses. <laughs> Bellocelli say, Bellocello says prices of cement. Oh, I think I've answered that. Afrijam says building big houses are a thing of the past, I think. D Lake says, good evening, I just joined. Michelle N says, do you accept monetary gifts via YouTube? Unfortunately, because I'm a creator in Ghana, I don't have access to monetary gifts. But if you want to send me a gift, right? You can just send me an email and I'll show you a way to support me. I really appreciate any support I've gotten. I've gotten some people sending gifts when I was doing lives on TikTok, but YouTube for Ghanaian creators, currently we don't have the gifts. But I appreciate the thought. Um, Kicks851 says, Is ex 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 epoxy marble flooring good instead of ceramic tile floor? I haven't done epoxy marble flooring. I've watched videos on it because I keep getting this question a lot. But when I watched the videos, it didn't look like something I personally would want. However, it doesn't mean you should not go ahead and do it, right? Afrijam says, Airbnb in East Legon will do very well. And then near ANC Mall, which is the only mall owned by a Ghanaian, is fantastic. I'm telling you, Charlie, I almost wanted to say I'm jealous, but I can't be jealous of somebody's success. I'm, I'm happy for you, Charlie. Um, and again, you can come to us if you want us to help you to advertise your Airbnb. But even at the location, you don't need us to advertise for you. It will sell like hot cake. 
Bukari 83 says, do you know any land closer to university? Which university are you referring to? Ashesi University, yes. Um, in the Brekusu areas, there's land selling for 200,000, 300,000 close to Ashesi University. But which other university, I don't know, right? So um, I hear there's land also at Pram Pram close to, it's Miocho close to Pram Pram, right? In the central university. I've been hearing of land in those areas too. Caramel says, Vanity, we are entreated to occupy till God comes. Preach, preach, preach. <laughs> okay, I'm really enjoying tonight's live. You can see that it's past 10 o'clock, but I haven't closed. But I do need to wrap up. So I'm going to go back to my notes. But in the meantime, you can keep your comments coming. Um, so we are talking about mistakes 90% of builders make. And if you just joined, we are saying that try not to let your building project go above two to five years. After five years, your house is going to encounter issues. Just trust me, it's going to encounter issues. And many people who are in the diaspora are building for people to live inside. These people are called caretakers. You are struggling, you are doing nine to five, you are doing three or four jobs, you are living in a small one-bedroom house to build your dream home. And then you are building a five-bedroom house or a caretaker in Ghana to live in. Then you come at age 60, when you or 70, where you are not very strong, and you say you want to enjoy life. I think you should build something you can afford now. Move into it. Even add a swimming pool if you want. A nice garden. Beautify it. Decorate it. Let your soul be content. When you get home and you see your house, you are happy. Add air conditioners. Add nice TVs. Nice, like, make it nice. Then live in it. Even if it's a two-bedroom house and you have three kids, they can manage. I know some people who have like chamber and halls with five kids and their kids all sleep in the hall. Right? I'm not saying go and do the same thing, but I'm just saying people were able to live that way and grew up to be good people in society. So if you have a three-bedroom house but you have five kids and your kids sometimes like sleep in the hall. I'm not saying they should sleep in the hall. But you find a way around it. Don't build nine bedrooms because you have six kids each of them must have their own room by age 18 they are moving out my boss gave me an advice right his kids are one is in canada and i think one is in uk and he says he has like two or three houses in ghana one at Hachu, which was his first house that he built when he was younger he will be turning 60 pretty soon and my boss, if you're watching this video, shout out, I love you. So he built his first house. Like he put in so much. He did a lot of sacrifice, you know, like sold things just to build a house. And he says when his kids came from the UK to come and see the house, he said, ah, you're not excited. It's, what, what kind of house is this? Meanwhile, to him, it's like working, closing at 10 p.m., like giving off his very best just to build a house then he moved on to like north legon built an even grander house big house five bedrooms today he says his kids have decided they will come back to ghana and it's just he and his wife and he has to be paying a cleaner to come and be cleaning is he every week or every day right and he says till the cleaner comes there are rooms in the house which are never opened can you imagine? You built a house, there are rooms which are never opened, just gathering dust and cobwebs. So that's what we are talking about in today's video. Many people want to build their dream house. They want to build a very big house, but they are making the mistake where their salary is not allowing them to finish that house in two to three years. And so people are spending 16, 20, 25 years just to build their dream house so we've looked at eight points already the next point i know you may not agree with it but your design begins to look a cake if you are building for 25 years <laughs> i've given you countless examples for the people who joined the video early the person at east legon when you see the house it looks like a church maybe those days that was how the houses looked like Today, most of these houses are box, box, box. So when you look at his house, you look at the surrounding houses, his looks so old-fashioned. And even the tiles that he has, he says he's changing all because 
from when he he started 25 years ago towels like they are nicer newer towels doors he's changing like everything is changing do you understand so your taste is also going to change as a person and so you don't want to build for too long and not complete a movie now he's going to change the doors change some of the columns positioning change the towels like so many things change the banisters oh goodness and he's still not been able to move in to live in this house that he has spent so much when i look at the house and it's at east legon right if you are valuing it today i'm sure it won't be less than four hundred thousand dollars and he wants premium materials he says he imported all his things from us etc the towels and everything go from us marble towels thick ones and today they are so old-fashioned that he's removing all of them to put new ones so the longer you keep the more your building or elements within your building are going to look archaic. You are not going to be satisfied. However, if you use two years, three years to build it, and you even want to sell it, you can now build a more modern house. I hope it makes sense. Anyways, I'm not imposing on you. I'm just advising. And then number 10, you will not be enjoying the fruits of your labor, like I said. You'll be working, and then a caretaker will be living in it in Ghana for you. People will be living in it rent-free. Then you are living in a one-bedroom house and a caretaker is living in your five-bedroom house. I don't, I don't get how it makes sense. So the real house owner becomes the caretaker. And sometimes some of these caretakers, they even pray that you die and you never come back. I'm sorry, but I just have to be blunt and truthful. I have seen lands where the foundation, like even opposite my house, the foundation is there. The foundation was huge. Today, I wish I could go and take videos and come and show you, but it's, 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 it's night time. <laughs> Today, the foundation is full of kiosks. Squat squatters have come to live <laughs> on the foundation with wooden kiosks. Like 20 of them. I'm sure the person has died. Maybe he never even told his family members, like I have a house in Ghana or I'm building in Ghana. I've started a foundation. Nobody knows he has died and people have come to put kiosks because sometimes one person comes when they see that oh nobody is coming another person they invite their family or friend at the market or workplace wherever and they come and before you see more squatters from the time i moved here right which was 2020 i've seen more kiosks come to add to that foundation so sometimes they pray, the people they pray you don't even come back so you need to be careful and then the last one is many things tend to go wrong just because you leave your house for so long and i've given countless examples so i'm going to read your comments and then we are going to wrap up this video there are over 568 views on the video already but only 48 likes finally there are 133 people watching live oh goodness guys please can you close the live chat and then click on this like button click on this live button have you seen the live button there <laughs> please click on it for me i want to see it getting to at least 100 okay so let me read the comments and then we we call it a day okay um okay all right um yeah, your comments are playing to goodness. Okay, I've seen exactly where I dropped off. Erabna Poku says, please let me know anyone to buy wood for roofing and pay over time. So let, please explain Erabna. Is it that you bought the roof but you don't you bought the wood but you don't need it now? So you want to you want to like sell it. To somebody within the community and then the person pays over time um please send me an email if you're not getting a response quickly i'm going to post it on my instagram and tiktok and i'm sure you can get somebody to really buy it and how much is going for rabna africa building hub at gmail.com that's the email address um caramel says chief please do you know solution to dampness in ghana yes kida says thanks Afrijam. okay they are talking amongst themselves Vida Valentina Kisi says, how much will land cost at Makati Hill? The minimum you should budget is like 250,000 CDs upwards. 
Um, Upper Michael says, how much does it cost to clear two plots of land? 70 by 100 each. It depends. Are there trees? Are there bushes? If it's just bushes, somebody can take like 500 CDs and clear it for you. But if there are trees and things, it might be more, right? Um, our, family tree, our family tree says, greetings from NYC. What did I miss? Quite a lot. So I would recommend you go and watch the replay, okay? Afrijam O says, build small houses. Afrijam O says, the big houses that you see in Nigeria films are a thing of the past. <laughs> Speaking of Nigeria films, the person that is going to say, Ghanaians are copying everything from Nigeria movies. We see big, big houses in Nigeria movies. And then we are also building big, big houses. Okay. Um, Justice says, Please, sir, I'm done with my roofing now. Guide me more about what to do bit by bit. Should I continue with plumbing, wiring, or ceiling joints, or plastering? I want your thoughts, my mentor. Oh, Justice, I've done a dedicated video on this topic. Um, that The video title is Seven Things You Need to Do After Roofing, or What You Need to Do After Roofing. So just go to the channel. And then it's like the last maybe 10 videos or 15 videos it will be it will be in there. It was a very recent video. Um Afri Jam says it's true. If you have a caretaker living on your land for more than 12 years, they are entitled to keep the house and be the legal owner. Ishmael Lamte is in the building. Ishmael, good to see you here. Ishmael is doing amazing things, uh, so you guys should show him some love. Afrijam says, please click on the like button. Oh, Afrijam, you are doing the Lord's work. God bless you. James Osu says, great work. You are God sent. Amen. Oh. Bukari83 says, how much is scaffold per room? How much is it selling for? Selling there, yeah, I haven't found that, but I know um, renting, like hiring, right? Um, Irabna Poku says, I need wood for roof. Oh, okay. So you are not selling your wood. You actually need wood for roofing. If anybody can sort Arabna out so that she pays bit by bit, please help my sister out. Healthy TV says, beautiful peeps, please click on the like. Ah, so you guys are showing me love. Mwah, healthy TV, chop kiss. Since our brother doesn't have the capacity to accept monetary gifts, and this is a way of showing our appreciation. Please, I said, if you want to send me monetary gifts, send me an email address. I'll give you my mobile money or account number. Charlie, I, I'll be grateful. Or buy cameras. I'm selling solar cameras. That's a good way to support my business. Or schedule a consultation session. And let's just talk. James also says, I need a trusted contractor in Kumasi. Oh, trusted contractor in Kumasi, please send me an email. I have one guy I really trust. Prestige, um, Fast Lane Prestige Properties. Really solid guy in Kumasi. Peter Mensa Osei Jao says, it's 57 by 90 up to one plot. No, whoever is selling you that 57 by 90 and telling you it's one plot is kidding you. It's pretty close to a half plot. Bukhari83 says, how many rooms scaffold is needed for a three-story building? Well, that's a lot. That's a lot of rooms you are going to need. Eh? And again, is it just the single one or you are doing it the whole world? Like, I can give you the contact of a scaffolding guy, but where are you located, Bukhari? Like, where are you building at? Let me know. Um, Afrijam says, click the like button. Afrijam, chop kiss. Mwah. Let me see the number of likes we have. 64. Oh, good, 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 good. You guys are doing the lot's work. Caramel says, could you please share information on where to get the anti-dump solution? Okay. I'm going, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to create a community post. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to leave resources. I'm going to leave links. I'm going to leave websites. And I'm even going to leave videos of other youtube people who have treated this like topic in details so that your rising dump solution will be sorted out okay um our family tree says i rented scaffold for six days six rooms if i'm not mistaken for 2900 ghana cities including tnt Bola Massive says, oh, Bola, it's good to see you. I have a three-bedroom all-in suite with visitor's washroom, pantry, and also one-bedroom separate. 
hope it's okay. <laughs> Please, so I'm not a judge of what is okay or not. <laughs> I'm just saying that if you are putting up so many rooms, what's the reason? That's all. I just want to understand. I'm, and I'm giving my personal reasons on why you shouldn't build more than five bedrooms, right? Ideally, three to four at most. But you know your reason. So let us understand your reason. And I gave my 12 reasons based on experience, based on my personal building project, and then based on the situation pertaining in Ghana. Then again, I have some of you, the subscribers, who have contacted me i've gone to see your properties and you shared your pain points with me and based on all these things i have made this video so please i'm not saying don't do it at all cost please don't get me wrong all i'm saying is this mistake is something that a lot of people are making and you can avoid that okay um Tomodachi Homes Ghana. Good. I have another content creator on the live. Another building and construction content creator. Tomodachi, thank you very much. Please show Tomodachi some love. Mukari83 says, I'm building at Asalaja. Oh, great, great, great. Moses Tekpen says, I always advise people, instead of building one big five, six, nine bedroom house, rather build them as independent apartments. Maybe like two, two bedroom apartments. On the same land and one three bedroom apartment lots and lots of wisdom moses lots and lots of wisdom afri jam o says what are your contact details please my brother there's nothing in the description box oh apologies africa building hub at gmail.com so let me just put it here so africa building hub at gmail.com that's my email address eh? I usually don't give out my phone number because I've realized in the past that when I put out my phone number, you'll be at work, seriously working, and then the person doesn't even send the message first, so they are calling you, and you cannot pick a lot of calls at the same time. However, if I even receive 100 emails, I can take one day or two days to respond to all of them. But where the case is, people start calling. You might be in a meeting, and they are calling, and they don't, you guys don't quit, so you call once, I don't pick, they will call la and sometimes maybe I'm recording content. I'm doing so many things. I'm doing a consultation session and things. So I try not to give my number out. Just send me an email. When we see what the issue is, then we know whether we actually need a call or not, right? So please bear with me, guys. When we expand the team, we'll be able to, you know, address some of these issues that you have more effectively and we are trying to expand the team so so then just please bear with me entry pinaman says good to be back here good to see you entry charlie long time my brother how how is life how is the us canada wherever you are i know the tiktok family have missed me but charlie we moved from tiktok youtube permanently okay um Afri Jam says, found the contact details. Thanks. Okay, I'm glad we saw it. Our family tree says, very true. I'm building a five-bedroom story. And I don't even know if this is my American kid would want to move to Ghana. A three-bedroom is ideal. So I think we've made a point. We don't want to belabor the point. Thank you so much, everybody. I've been on this live for one hour, 13 minutes. If you want a dedicated consultation session, send me an email. Let's book a session. I usually do consultation on saturdays and sundays and if you need any other thing that you believe we can be of help whether it's a trusted artisan architectural drawings bill of quantities building supervision etc send us an email sometimes a day we can get like a hundred plus emails a hundred plus dms on instagram and tiktok so if we miss yours by chance kindly just send us a reminder okay because we try to answer Every comment. You even notice that on the YouTube comments, if you comment, I try to respond. Not a lot of people do that. Sometimes you do a video, you get like maybe 200 comments, but I still try to respond to everybody because you guys have helped us to build this community, right? And you've helped me to get to this point where I'm able to make an impact in people's lives. Sometimes I see the mails that people send and it's so heartwarming that I never thought about building, but watching your videos, I got so inspired, motivated. Some people even send pictures and videos of their building projects. 
and that's what makes me happy right that whereas in the past people were spending money frivolously or whatever right but now they are making investments they are considering going to real estate and the people that i interview to you people call them and you give them contracts and businesses and they are overwhelmed to the point where even my own building projects they don't have time to work on it any longer the love you guys show is massive last week when i was not feeling well the dms the messages on the community posts oh the love was amazing and i want to say i really appreciate you i don't take anything at all for granted and so just big ups yourself but like this video let's get to 500 likes and let me read the last comments and we close okay um joy 76 says i live in the states i am currently building a four bedroom house for my mom wow god bless you i plan on using the house as a collateral for a loan from the bank so when my mom or i pass away no caretaker can have it wow that's deep perfect mouse says my first time here but i'm loving this how often do you do this how often do you do this by god's grace from i think february or whenever it was sometime in may we have been consistent on this youtube live every single sunday at 9 p.m every single sunday at 9 p.m Apart from last week where I wasn't feeling well and I felt my energy was low and I don't want to give you low energy. I want to give you my best. I want to do research. I want to put my points down before I start the live. Like I really prepare hours before the live starts. Put all the videos, put all the, um, you know, subscribe, put all the questions, the question for the day. Like I do proper research. I even design thumbnails for you guys. Oh, Charlie. I put a lot of work into this thing just to make sure that you guys have a good experience during the live session. So subscribe if this is your first time. Turn on all notifications so that when we are live, you don't miss it. And we have countless videos on the channel, insightful videos, interviews. You can watch any of them. Richard a phone says every sunday at around 9 pm gmt oh richard god bless you and good to see you here daniel and ivan says i'm in ghana now i'd like to meet up with you okay we can meet up god willing maybe over the weekend right so just send me an email let's connect and then we can talk golden trust group says great job my brother this is not from sweden you interviewed me before oh my brother from liberia how are you how's business oh you you have a group now golden trust group i hope you are you know doing well with the roofing and all that charlie i love you it's been a while let's connect charlie i love you guys so you see i don't want to go I should have closed like 47 minutes ago but i know if i keep talking we are going to be here till tomorrow and i don't want to take your time for granted so thank you very much for staying with me for one hour 18 minutes of your time good night have a blessed week and see you god willing next week.